move on to our next presenter, who is also our video operator. We like to multitask here, so it's a myth that men can't multitask. Uh, well, who's going to operate the video? Is it, is it, is it, is it already done? It's, it's, it's okay. All right. Technology. Okay. So I'm going to hand you over to the cable hands of Mr. John Popper. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, who knows who that is? That's um, Sir Ken Robinson. He's an educational guru whose main theory is that we are all creative people, but the education system takes that away from us uh, and, and uh, regiments us. And his, one of his recent books is called The Element. Now, The Element is about um, a whole range of people who have made have become multimillionaires by pursuing their passions. And they're all people who were thought to be geeky, nerdy, obsessive when they were at school, um, but they pursued their passions, passions and became multi-millionaires. As a teenager, I was, I was really interested in cricket, um, and it's one of my greatest regrets that I never pursued cricket as a, uh, to any serious level. But I loved watching it, and I remember listening to it on headphones in the chemistry lesson, because our chemistry teacher was deaf. I also loved reading fiction, I particularly liked the uh, novels of Thomas Hardy. I used to immerse myself in his world. But I, I, as, just as I never pursued cricket, I never really pursued uh, my interest in fiction, and this is the reason why, university. Um, I did an English degree, three years of reading books uh, to deadlines, um, really squeezed out any interest um, in or any passion I had about reading. I didn't read a work of fiction for years after I left university, I still don't really read uh, fiction. When I left university, I went to the careers advisor and said, what shall I do? And the only op option I was offered was become a chartered accountant. Three years of reading novels and poetry. And they said, become an accountant. Um, then I thought I'd found my ideal job, so I applied for the job as cricket correspondent at the Yorkshire Post. Writing cricket, that's great, isn't it? But um, I was 21, and it's some reason they didn't want me. I really don't know why I was. So um, I found it around for a bit. But then I found something I was really passionate about, which was working in communities, helping people to improve their lives, helping them to find mutual support uh, and do better in their lives. And that, that was great. Um, I was fortunate enough to find work doing that, which was fantastic. Then as time went on, I got further and further away from what I really enjoyed, working with the real people. And I started to realise that there are two categories of people in this world. There's real people, and there's the people who fit into systems and institutions, and they get regimented. Um, they're the people who leave their, coat, their personalities at the office door, on the coat rack, uh, and they pick it up again when they go out at night. But then I discovered social media, um, all these different ways of talking to people. And I plunged in, and I had a play with it, and eventually some people started asking me for advice on it. So I set up what we call social media surgeries. We used to do one in this room. These are informal advice sessions where we get people who understand social media to pass on their skills and knowledge to people who need to use it in their work. Um, that combined my interest in social media and my interest in community. So I increasingly realised that what really interested me was storytelling. Um, we're telling stories tonight, and that's what really the Better Culture is about. Um, I said, uh, this is an album by my favourite rock band, and I think it's a really good way of illustrating what storytelling is about. Um, I'm determined from now on to combine my passions with things that actually pay me and uh, make a living. And that's why I set this project called Twicking, which is Easter Monday. We broadcast a village cricket match live on the internet. And it actually took off when Stephen Fry tweeted about it, because um, and Stephen Fry is a storyteller par excellence. He's also interested in cricket. And it obviously um, provoked something in him which made him interested. And him tweeting about it sort of made the whole thing take off and go global. So on Easter Monday, I found myself standing in a field in rural Lancashire talking to 5,000 people on the internet. But not only talking to those people, but also talking to the people who were, uh, who were listening to BBC Radio Lancashire, listening to Radio New Zealand, Talk Sport, um, BBC London, uh, The Guardian. All these audiences picked up on it as well. All these other institutions picked up. Other uh, media outlets picked up, and so we had an awful lot of interest in this. Um, and so we were not just talking to people who were watching us online. And the, the other thing is that people often say to me that technology is about people sitting in darkened rooms on over keyboards. Uh, I think you know one of the things I want to do is to disprove that theory and to say that technology can be about being out in the outdoor, outdoors and celebrating your lives. We also had our own expert <laughs> storyteller on that day. That local woman, Brenda, uh, became an internet phenomenon developed her own fan club online because of, because of her mixture of whimsical cricket commentary and industry village gossip, which, <laughs> which she broadcast to the world. 
This was an amazing story. It started from a very small acorn and grew massively out of proportion to what we thought it was going to be. But I think the reason why it did that was because it was about fun, people enjoying themselves, celebrating things. People need to celebrate their passions. So one thing I say to people is we need to get away from our outdated modes of working. We need to spend uh, our time at work not being bored and unhappy. When you go to work, please express your personalities. Uh, we are who we are 24 hours a day. And please remember that when you go to work. Well, I, I think the sun does better culture, better. That's basically what the culture is about. It's about celebrating people's passions. So if you feel you know you have a story to tell, um, please get in touch with us. Anybody can volunteer and, and come and talk about what they're really passionate about, and we'll find a slot for you. That was absolutely brilliant. Can I just ask you?